We're back. It's me, Physic. Welcome to the video that this is. I'm very nervous. I haven't done a video in ages. I'm all sweaty and I'm a mess and I just feel all ugly and self-conscious, but hi! And welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's video, please do leave it a like and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel. Wow! It's genuinely been a very long time. A lot of stuff has happened, so we're going to be covering two main things. First, Anision's ascent into another form of media just just you wait also i'd quite like to talk about i would also like to talk about this adopted chinese baby and how disgusting the parents are of this child not parents thieves thieves of this child ripping it away from its home ah 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 so thank you very much for joining me. It has been a long time since I've uploaded. Uh, you're probably wondering why that is. Uh, this lockdown has been draining my life essence. It has been putting me into this horrible cycle of depression and anxiety and anger. It's just been rough, man. I, and I think that goes for basically everyone in the world at the minute. But good God, it's been a really horrible experience. So sorry that I've been absent, especially to those patrons. Don't worry. Things are going to get back to normal, I hope. So thank you. Let's talk about Anision. Right. Um, Anision, you know what he's like, right? He'll say, ah, oh, I'm gonna start a new channel. I'm gonna be called Character, and I'm I'm just gonna be a character. I'm not gonna be an Ision anymore. So he did that. Started his new channel. Did it work? No, of course it didn't, because he didn't think for a moment how that would actually make sense. <laughs> how are you gonna start a new channel as the most hated man on the platform? So uh, that failed. But you know what he's like. He's always like, right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. This video, last one. Last one ever. Never gonna upload ever again. But this time. He, he's gone. <laughs> and he's gone to the stupidest place possible. He has an OnlyFans page because he doesn't have Patreon anymore. And it's like 18 plus adult content. One, Anision's fan base are entirely comprised of children. I highly doubt any of them are that much older than the age of 18, 19. So, I'm sorry mate, but you can't just say if you're under 18, it's easy enough to get an account but just know that I will ban you straight away. Don't tell your fans that because anyone under 18 will just think oh so I can just get away with it really easily. So this is already ridiculous considering he's being investigated by the FBI for grooming a minor. <laughs> Just how, how does his brain work? So the OnlyFans page started off as jokey sort of stuff. An animated version of him uh, having intercourse with Donald Duck or something ridiculous. But then it progressed into flat out, no holds barred. <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. So he's now just a... So he's now just a... Why? We're just... Just... Just, 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 no. Just stop it. He can't do this. He's going to get an, an insane amount of trouble. It's just insane. None of none of the people that are signed up are going to be over the age of 18. It's ridiculous. The thing with Anision is, he, he's not funny. He doesn't have good content. He's an idiot and he's manipulative and he's a scumbag. But you don't notice those things as much when you're young. So once you pass the certain age, 16, 17, you then lose interest in Anision because you realise how immature and just crap he is. He's just a crap person with a crap channel. So, the, with that algorithm there, no one's going to be over 18. That's not how it works, according to me and me only, apparently. But that's that so is he gone apparently so i said i bet uh, within two days he'll be back again but he hasn't he hasn't come back he's actually gone to become <sighs> well, yeah so <sighs> anyway moving on now to this horrible insane adoption that just kind of makes me sick every time i think about it let's have a look so this scenario is shocking and disgusting. This Micah Stauffer and her husband or boyfriend or whatever uh, adopted a child after already having several children of their own for no other reason than to benefit her YouTube channel, her career, and to gain clout. That is obviously one of the most disgusting things you could imagine. This is a child. It's not a prop to use in your videos. It's an actual child. So when adopting it, 
they knew that the child would have some kind of special needs so they finally adopted this child and are YouTube recording the entire thing I'm sorry but do not shove your children onto your uh, your career don't get them involved in your YouTube channel don't get them involved like the ace family just leave them out this is gonna end up like beauty pageant kids that are put through so much pressure and are shoved in front of cameras day in day out that I'll have self-esteem and confidence problems for the rest of their life they adopt this young child named Huxley and <laughs> after a while Micah Stauffer comes to the realization that the child had more special needs than they first uh, realized which is absolute bullcrap there is no way they wouldn't have known the exact condition this child had and how bad it was uh, when adopting it there's no way they wouldn't know that information it's ridiculous such a poor pathetic excuse um, turns out I, I thought it was gonna be like a Crohn's disease or MS turns out that the kid is autistic I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry what you you want to get a refund you want to shove the baby in a bin somewhere because he has autism my god so this is such a lame pathetic excuse she said uh, she went back to the doctors and at first you know she only felt more of a connection to this child after finding out their condition and then went back to the doctors again and then found out how bad the special needs was like what it's a three-year-old child with autism autism is such a, a, a manageable thing you said you were prepared for anything you're prepared to tackle this no you so clearly had no idea what you were doing you were like hey babies can make me bare dollar let's get on that and you adopted a child all the way from china moved it into your luxury home and then decide oh well i just can't be bothered really oh, it's gonna be a bit of a hassle can you just put it in a bin please can we just get a refund what is wrong with you you clearly had no intention of properly raising this child autism like people with autism can have such normal lives that are so barely different I, I think there are a large amount of people on the autistic spectrum that aren't even aware of it fully. I think it's a, a much wider spread thing than most people would realise. But I've been in several relationships with people with autism. I, I know several friends that are autistic and at first you can never even tell that they have autism. This is a lame, pathetic excuse to get rid of the responsibilities of looking after an actual child. Then, where did you, where, where's Huxley? Guys, where'd you put the baby? <laughs> the whole world's wondering. It's it's weird. But if we have a look here at this article. Authorities investigating the Huxley Stalfer case say the YouTube famous child is not missing. Well, good. I, I mean, good. Jesus. Oh, Christ. Why, why would you even go into this? If you're fully aware that you don't know how to handle anyone with a slight different condition, you're, you're just so wrapped up in your bubble of a life that you have no clue how to deal with anyone with any slight uh, mental health problem or disability. So you don't even understand how uh, manageable this is. It's pathetic that you wouldn't try and raise a child just because they're autistic. It's pathetic. It shows how much of a shallow cow you are. So well done on that one. So, uh, authorities are investigating the whereabouts of Huxley Stalfer, the child whose adoptive parents, YouTuber James and Micah, announced last week they placed him with another family. Well, where? Wh where? What family? Where? <laughs> yeah, is that how it works? If you're just like, eh, don't really want it anymore, I'll just pawn it off. I'll take it down to the pawn shop. Sorted, mate. So, <laughs> apparently, according to this family, the child isn't missing, but... That's just coming from them. I know the kid's obviously not missing and is obviously with another family, but what family? Where? This, I don't really think that's how it We can't just give it to a, a random family. I don't think that's how adoption works. Like, what, what have you done? <laughs> God, it's so insane. Anyway, it's 
obscene. I, I, I would uh, happily talk more on the subject, but I just know that I'm a little bit late to it. So if anyone would like to um, see me do some more content regarding this subject, let me know down in the comments. Um, but aside from that, thank you so much for watching. I know this is just a short video, but uh, I'm just easing myself back into it. Um, if you enjoyed, please do leave it a like and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel. If you want to support me even further, you can donate to my PayPal. Links in the description as well as my Patreon. So. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, big thanks to my patrons, and I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.